welcome to Little Sky Studio. And today we are going to make an experiment. Not a narration time, not a story time, but an experiment. And now this experiment comes from this book. You can ask your mother and father to find this book in, well, yeah, anywhere. Uh, well, we're in sunlight. Okay. You can ask your father and mother to find this book, science book, in sunlight. There all there's also the level A and level B and the highest is level C I guess. Ah uh, he <laughs> just kidding. Well there are many of the levels that is the C H as your my book is level B a science experiments. Okay. And now the thing are going to make right now experiment we're going to make right now is da -da 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 -da. a cave see okay so in the in the in the in the in the in the when we already started and we're already at the end you're Okay, it's gonna look so cool. I mean, like, so, 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 so cool. Like that. I mean, like, so 100 billion, billion, million cool. So, what are you waiting for? Let's start! For the materials, we'll need one cup of clay, any color. I choose, well, I choose blue. Two sugar cubes. And also one toothpick. Small plastic container like this. Dinner plate or this. Oh, and also a warm hot, a warm not hot water. Like this. Oh, it's so warm. Picture glass or measuring cup with spout. This is a measuring cup. I could, I'm using a measuring cup and it's like this. Okay. The next one is plastic knife or butter knife. It's, I use a plastic knife actually. Mm. And also a flashlight. Mm. a towel okay let's start okay now so the first thing we have so the first step we have to do is we open the the clay can't see the book and also you flatten it. Flatten it as hard as you can. How big would the clay be? It's around 4 inch and 3 inch. Well, let me make it a bit smaller, I think. Okay, and... So the tree inch is right kind of here. You could size it with a ruler. Like this. Tree inch. And this is four inch. That's how it's done. And so this is four inch. Okay. And now the next step. Now, the second step is you place two sugar cubes end to end in the center of the clay. Make sure the sugar cubes touch each other. So it's like this, 
I'm gonna place it here. There. I think I just need a ruler. You can use the ruler for it also. Make sure it's in the middle. There. Okay. Okay, it's all set. Now, for the for step three, wrap the edges of the cubes of wrap the edges of the clay around the sugar cubes. So it's like this. You wrap the sugar cubes. I mean, not you don't drop sugar cubes, but drop the clay around the sugar cubes. I mean, sorry. And also, so it's like a forming a box shape. Or it can be a rectangle shape. And number step four, you also need to pinch and smooth the edges of the clay together so they so the sugar cubes are completely sealed inside the clay. Alright, so you just need this, this, this. Make sure the holes doesn't have it, so yeah. I think it's like this, I guess. And okay, now number five. Pick a two. Pick to make a hole in the top of the clay box above the sugar cubes. Carefully push the tape pick on. Until you feel the sugar cubes. Alright, here it comes. Wow, the sugar cubes are like already here. Yeah. Okay, so here's what they're. Okay, so the fifth step use a toothpick to make a hole in the top of the clay box above the sugar cubes carefully push the toothpick in until you feel the sugar cubes all right so i push the toothpick in now i'm already feeling the sugar cubes okay and now for the sixth step pivot your toothpick around to make a hole about two until three two this one this Pivot your toothpick around to make the hole about two or three millimeters wide. Use okay. This is the step. Uh, this is the seventh step. Use the toothpick to make a second hole on one side of the clay box. Carefully push it until you feel the sugar. All right, here it comes. There. And make the hole about two or three millimeters wide. Oh dear. Okay, so the eighth one near a sink plates a plastic container. Well, I'm not in a sink, so yeah. Upside down in the center of a dinner plate or aluminum. Pie pan. Place the clay block on top of the plastic container. Wait, 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 wait,
Okay. Now what? Tip. Carefully pour warm, not hot water in the top hole. In your clay. Okay. Hope this works. Oops, too much, too much, too much. After that. So what do you think? What happens to the water? It goes in top of the hole? Or yeah. Remember our cup of water represents acidic water. What do you think the water is doing inside the clay? Slowly pour water down the clay holes for one to two minutes emptying the dish and refilling your cup as need. Alright. Use a plastic knife or a butter to cut the off the end of the clay. Okay, so okay. Okay, so after that, what for the what is the use for the knife? While you do it, you cut it into here. There. And then I okay. Well, I tried the butter knife, but it doesn't work. So I tried a bigger knife. There, a sharpened knife. And let's see. Wow, it comes out. There's the hole, you know. Okay, hole. Wow, I think it really works. And if I make it a bit uh, sexy. And wow, also the sugar. All right. Uh, let's use the kind of frost type. Now it's really like a cave. Okay, so what is your, why are we really making this cave thingy? Hey, okay. do you know where the sh sugar is all? Wait a minute. Where is the sugar, yeah? Okay. If, well, the sugar inside has this up here well it didn't disappear it melted that's where our, our project is and that's why we are making this cave a sugar or it can be a rock sugar dissolves the limestone leaving graves that get cracks that to that get can bigger and bigger over time. Caves formed in a way and called solution caves because whenever solid protection such particles. I mean particles such as me, me, limestone, limestone I mean this dissolves in a liquid the liquid is called solid a solution the sugar cubes represents underground limestone and the clay represents the rock and solid that soil that is around the limestone Oh yeah, and also, this reminds me of red sails to Capri, where a, they found a blue, beautiful blossom cave. You can, if, I also have a story for that, you can click in this link to find that story and also more narrations and scientists you can find. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Bye! And I hope to see you soon on the next Little Sky Studio video. Bye!